WNBA star Brittany Griner landed back in Texas around 430 this morning. Griner spent nearly 300 days in a Russian jail accused of bringing cannabis oil into the country. After months of negotiation, she was released as part of a prisoner swap for a notorious Russian arms dealer. Now we know the journey has not been an easy one. She was arrested in February, sentenced in August to nine years in a Russian prison and moved to a labor camp last month. And now she's in San Antonio where she will receive a treatment before being released to go back home. Now we've been following this story all morning long. Our Ariel Placencia joins us here in studio with the latest developments from overnight. And Ariel, this is a reunion that was months in the making. Absolutely, months in the making. You guys touched on the timeline. I just wanted to add a few more details because it has been just about a year that this whole thing has been developing. So in February, if you remember, she was arrested at the airport on drug charges. In May, that's when the State Department came out and said that she was wrongfully detained for those charges that happened at the airport. In July, she did plead guilty, but she still had to go on trial due to rules in Russia. In August, a Russian court sentenced her to nine years in prison, and then here we are today with the swap that just happened about an hour or so ago. Now, let's also talk about Brittany Griner herself and who she is, right? So she played pro basketball in Russia, so that's why she was over there. She's also a two-time Olympic gold medalist. She's also an All-American with Baylor University, and then she's also a star with a Phoenix Mercury. So you can imagine a big basketball star, lots of tweets and statements from the basketball community. So we'll take a look at Baylor University. Baylor tweets, Brittany Griner is a member of our Baylor family. We're extremely grateful that she is on her way back home to the United States. We praise God this day has finally come. And then her team, the Phoenix Mercury, shorter statement, all that needs to be said, though, no more days. She's coming home with a picture of her in her uniform. The WNBA also tweeting from day one to day 294. We never forgot about you, BG. And today, the entire WNBA family rejoiced. If you watch basketball or maybe you're on social media, you'll remember that the WNBA, even the NBA, had a lot of, you know, T-shirts calling for her release. And so the NBA also... The uh, Phoenix Suns tweeting out too. one basketball family. I put a smile on everybody's face today just knowing that she was on her way home. So again, she is getting treatment, so we'll hopefully be able to hear from her shortly. But for now, we're hearing from everybody else rejoicing at her arrival home, ladies.